In this video, we're going to be looking at how to change the color of this object from yellow to black. So in this case, this is a client image, and though the image was shot with a yellow menstrual cup, the client has said we no longer carry the yellow menstrual cup, and instead we'd like to replace it with our black one. This image is already edited, the backdrop and the floor have been cleaned up, and all the distractions have been removed. So ordinarily, I always duplicate the background copy. In this case, it doesn't matter as much. So the first step is to precisely select the object you want to change the color of. In this case, I'm gonna try object selection tool and just drag it over the yellow cup. So that did a pretty good job. There's a little bit of an edge there that we might wanna spruce up, but we're gonna go into select and mask and shift the edge out just a little bit. I have it view on black, so anything black is not selected. And I'm gonna smooth out the edge a little bit so we don't have that jaggedness. And remember, we want to output to selection. So when I say, okay, this object is selected. And just to keep it separate, I'm going to copy and paste into a new layer. So there it is. And you can see that there's a little bit of color bleed here, but if that bothers us later, we can fix it then. So now that it's in its own layer, I'm gonna right click the layer, select pixels, and do a hue saturation adjustment layer. And this is where normally, if you're just changing the hue, you could colorize it and drag it to your heart's content into a range of different colors. But as you can see, if we just try to do this same technique to make it black, we just get a completely black object with no dimension. We lose these little bits of light variation and we lose the texture and it basically looks completely fake or like something was removed from the photo. So the solution here is we're just gonna leave it like this but completely desaturate it. And we might have to come back and tweak this. We might even wanna make it lighter. And then on top of this, we're also going to add, let's see, I think we have to select this. We're gonna add a curves layer. And I'm gonna put that on top of the hue saturation. And then I'm gonna take the black and just drag it all the way across. And look at that magic that happened. So, and then if you wanted to adjust the rest of the look of the reflections, you could tweak the other parts of the curves. But that looks pretty darn good. And uh, so I'm gonna get it dark and then we can come back here. Oops, click this and you can always adjust it a little bit here as well. So see how that like made it a very dark yellow if we didn't desaturate it. So zooming out, that looks pretty darn accurate. In fact, I don't know if I even want to see that much light on it because it's we don't want to imply that it's a glossy or glittery cup, but uh, we do want to see some texture. So that looks about good. And from far away, you aren't seeing those little colored edges, but we can come here and we can do a few different things. Um, one is you could select all three of these things and just stretch them a little bit so that you can cover those colored edges. This could be a little bit controversial with your product because then you're technically saying it's a slightly different size. But also what we could do is just Highlight the background copy and use clone stamp to just fill in that edge underneath. And then we don't see any yellow bleed. And I'm just sampling from the packaging right below it. And I can do that around the whole thing. Okay, that looks pretty good. So there you have it. That was a pretty easy fix and the key to it was the curves layer. Otherwise we have this very dead looking gray cup versus the bold and black.
So I hope you found this useful. If you did, go ahead and subscribe and be sure to check out my work on Instagram.